Well, he showed me a lot of clips of the way his Washington teams played, the way they played his first year, and it really intrigued me. They shot a lot of threes. It, it was like how I played at JUCO, how I played in high school, and it really, like, I was, I was for it. Um, so, and he told me, he was like, you're gonna shoot a lot of threes. It's gonna happen. Puts it on the floor, stops left elbow, kicks the toll free, three pointers on the way, and another one's good. Mainly, she's an Arkansas kid. And she said many times she really wanted to be a Razorback. Okay, let's, do you really want to do this? Or are you talking about it or be about it? And I felt like if we could recruit her that way, that we knew we had a kid that really, truly wanted to be here. It wasn't talk, it was, it was real. Uh, obviously, style of play fit. We knew how we wanted to play uh, and knew that we needed makers. Uh, and she had had a, a big track history of, of making big shots at big times, not only in high school with her, her team at Conway with Coach uh, Nance, but you know also in junior college when she was doing what she was doing at Jones for Coach Billerbeck. But according to Coach Neighbors and Alexis, her decision would come down to a ping pong match. Yes, a ping pong match. I took it upon myself to be like, Coach, I play you in a game of ping pong for me to commit here. You win, I'm coming to Arkansas. You lose, I get to go wherever I want to go. Which I, I knew in the back of my head I wanted to be here. But uh, like I told my mom and everything before, I was like, I'm still gonna commit. She was running her mouth pretty good about how good she was at ping pong. And um, somebody said, you won't beat Coach Neighbors. She goes, I'll beat Coach Neighbors, you know, the competitive streak that Lex has. And she said something to somebody like, if, if he beats me, I'm gonna commit right on the spot. And I got, I was like, okay, game on. He came out and like made a statement. It was like me hitting three in a row. That, that's what it felt like. I was just like, there's no way I'm there. I, I don't even think I scored. I don't, I don't think I scored at all. No one warned you not to take on Coach Neighbors in any type of bar game? No, nobody told me like, nobody told me anything. They were just like, okay, yeah, let's go watch this. <laughs> let's, let's see how this plays out for her. And I smash it for game point right into her back. Uh, you know, and then she goes, all right, I'm gonna raise you back. I said, well, hey, you know, listen, you know, I don't want you to commit to us over a ping pong game, take your time. And uh, it was all in fun, but uh, it, we had a good time with it. But the move from junior college to division one wasn't as smooth as both Lex and coach had hoped. It is a hard transition. Just, you can go and try to find a list of kids that went from a four year school to a two year school to another four year school. That list is really short. I mean, it's tiny and been successful. The list of fails, or is really long. There's a lot of people who have tried it and not had success. It's hard when you've had a, a new style, a new system, a new coach, a new school, a new environment. It's just hard to get into really good habits. Flex credits associate head coach Todd Schaefer with an off-season meeting that got her back on track. He's watched me since I was a kid play. He knows like that wasn't me and basically we talked about it and he was like now forget about it. We got a new year to work on. We got a we got a summer to to get in the gym. We got we got new stuff to think about now. He was like, "You got bigger plans, and we're gonna get them done." Did anything change for you, or is it just a matter of kind of getting back to a comfort zone for you? A lot changed. Uh, my work my work ethic drastically changed. I'm in the gym every day before and after practice. Um, on off days, I come in and get an extra workout in. And that's something I wasn't doing last year. I wasn't, my work ethic wasn't as high as it has been in the past. How rewarding is it to see the results of all that hard work? It's just, it, it's good to know that like, you know, I can do it. Like, I, I have the ability. I just need to stay focused and, and keep the work ethic there. We try to treat our players like we would like to be treated. I, I don't think any of us wanted to be judged on our first year winning percentage. So why would I judge a first year shooter on their shooting percentage? Let them get comfortable, let them understand the terminology, know where your shots are gonna come from. And not to mention the, the increase uh, in athleticism that you're being guarded by. So, you know, I think her getting back in the gym, developing good habits, and then being a part of a team that, you know, now has a point guard who both point guards think pass first. Side gives the toll free, pauses, shoots in the corner, the three is good. That's her Lex toll free really is just so deadly. Threes in transition. Have you patterned that shot after anybody? How did that come about? I've always been small. So like, uh, 
when I was younger, they was just like, you gotta get it over. You gotta get it over the rim. You, and it, they drilled it in my head. Get it over the rim and get it over your defender. And so like, I just, that's how it started happening. And, cause I've always been little. Fast Dungey left corner, toll free three again. There's another one. Alexis Tolfrey on fire from that spot of the left corner. What is it like being in an offense now with Amber and Chelsea when you three are all going at the same time? I don't think we've had a game like that yet. I don't think we've all been hitting at the same time. I think I've had a half and Chelsea and Amber's had a half, or I've had a good game and Chelsea's had a good half. It, I don't think it's been all of us clicking at the same time, and I think when that actually happens, because I've seen it in practice, but I think when that actually happens, it, it's gonna be deadly. 